All right, so here's the front. I like it, it's sweet. It comes with this uh, plate cover that makes it look like it's part of the bumper. And then this right here is for a synthetic rope. You don't need the rollers. And then I just lower, it lowers your plate. So you have brackets for your plate stuff. Okay, this is about 40, another 40, 50 pounds. Right, so you see this right here. You put the nuts in here first before you put it. So you're going to put the nuts in there. Let me see if I can drop it down straight in there without tilting it this time. I think I can get it. Yep. There we go. There's the hole. I just have to go underneath now and uh, put these bolts in. I just decided to push it down from the top, so now it'll just pop out. Yep. And I got this flap out of the way. Yep. So I got that in, and two more. Okay. Good. It's pretty good. Um, now, if you see these right here, I don't know what they're called, but these just go right into the holes up there, these pegs. They just stick into these holes, keeps the flat up, flap up, and they'll cover the, the bolt, too. Just have to put the, uh, run the cables to the battery. This I have to cut off, and then it will come here and attach to there. And then I have to put on this, and where's the other piece at? Right there, for the front. Bam. Almost done. Wiring should be pretty simple, because it should be long enough to go to the battery right here. Oh. My battery needs to be cleaned bad. I need to fix that, so I'll clean up my battery. Okay, so I have to put this on this box like this, and there's no holes for it on the back of this box. So what I do is I opened it up, this control box right here. It's more like a battery box. Just to make sure there's nothing that I'm going to drill through, put those screws through, that will damage it. So everything looks good in here. go. They're right in the corners.
it is not hooked up to the battery yet. Do that the last step. So this short wire right here goes underneath the winch as well as the battery uh, ground from the battery goes underneath the winch and there's a uh, connector there it's hard to get to but I'll be able to get to it with the winch. So that and this connect to the ground which is on the bottom and that is down there right right there you can see it. That bolt is hard to get to. Make sure you uh, put that negative wire on down there first um, before you put the, the winch in. Otherwise, I had to go, I don't know if you see, from underneath here, try to get the bolt in right here. So I went from down here. That's how much room you have. It was easier to go that way, that way, than go through here, unless you have a really long wrench. All right, finally, uh, everything's connected to the winch. Now I have to connect the battery terminals right here. Now we got this plate. Okay. Now the controller, um, I could either leave it in here hooked up and put it in here or probably just keep it in the cab somewhere um, now to test it I will just open it up like this let's try this bad boy out I've got the uh, handheld right here and I also have some remotes I don't have I don't know if I have to program these first and uh, then the batteries so I'll try the remote too but for now out right here. Okay. Okay. That works. And throw the remote now. And then I'm gonna have to have batteries. I don't think it can. Oh, it has a battery in it. Good. Um, on, on. How about out? Yeah, it's programmed already, so that's good. All right, I am finished with my winch plate install and my winch here. So I'm going to just show it to you real quick. It was an all day project because I pretty much uh, figured it out as I went along. I didn't read any instructions. I just figured it out. 
Uh, some things I would have done differently. I'll try to save you some time by uh, learning my mistakes. But I love it. It looks good. The plate is lower now. So I moved the plate down so you can see where the synthetic rope comes and it latches on to my tow hitch. This winch is called, I guess, rug cell. It's a 12,000 pound winch. Here's the lever to engage it and disengage it. Uh, the wire's easy to figure out. It's all color coded. And then here is the controller right here, or the circuit, they call it. This has a wand here, a wired uh, handheld. It also has a remote. So I like this. If, if this remote works without this plugged in, then I won't really need this um, unless I, you know, the batteries die. So there's that option. And then it's routed here to the battery terminals directly. Looks nice. And, you know, to disengage or engage, disengage, you want to pull it free. Uh, hooked it up to my tow hitch right there. Looks nice. It comes with this, uh, the bracket underneath comes with this cover, right? This plate that will cover up the holes right here. So I like it because it looks like it's part of the bumper. And then this is um, your, I forget what it's called, but your cover for the synthetic rope. You don't need the rollers because it's just rope and smooth. My plate right underneath. So that's it. Um, I'm probably going to unhook this, keep it in the truck because this has a cover, a weatherproof cover right here that I want to seal it up. So I'm going to try it right now with this plugged in, not plugged in, show you how it works, and then with the remote. All right. Sweet. All right, that's it. Till next time. Another project complete.